Hi and welcome everybody to our new series of treehouse tutorials. My name is Peters, I'm a professional treehouse builder and the owner of the treehouse.shop. In today's tutorial we'll explain you how to install the GTS All-Star, which is our top model treehouse car. The base of everything is a good preparation, of course. So let's start with the hardware, which is, of course, the Freehill Screw GTS All Star. Please make sure that the M30 nut is lubricated because after drilling in the screw, you may find it really difficult to reopen it if there's no lubricant. On top of the GTS All Star shaft, we put the accessoires or accessories. I don't know, I'm German. And they will hold our treehouse beams and the whole platform construction. So we have the static support, dynamic support, we have all those brackets, and then we have things that reinforce the GTS also so it can take even more load. But this is another story, I'll explain it in another tutorial. Next are tools. Let's start with this auger bit. With this one you pre-drill the thread of the GPS. Next step is the Forstner pin combo. You pre-drill the cylinder of the GPS. And then you mount the GPS with this massive reversible ratchet. It's about 70 centimeter long. I wouldn't recommend to go smaller because it can get really exhausting especially in hardwood and up in the tree. Okay, next is a very powerful battery drilling machine. Always use it with an extra handle because if one of those eat up in the wood, there is a huge danger to twist your wrist or fall down from the ladder. Then it's also very important to clean your tools between and before every use. You can use alcohol or you can flame them or whatever. Next thing which is very important is the torpedo level. You can either put it here on the auger drill to make sure that the drill screw is screwed in exactly horizontal. Or what we did at Baumbaron is we mounted a small level here directly on the drilling machine which makes it way more easy to find the horizontal thing. <laughs> then of course you need the measurement stuff. You might need a small cord in order to get the right direction of your platform beams. You need some kind of 90 degree angle to get the right alignment of your treehouse screw axis. If usually it's 90 degree towards the platform beams. Then to measure the depth of your borehole, you will need a simple meter stick or a fancy tape measurement and to mark the right position of your treehouse screw you will need a small screw for the borehole and to get the right alignment you need a long wood screw and then of course if you are working up in the tree you need a ladder you need climbing equipment all right Let's get back into the forest and start with the installation. The first step of the installation in the tree is to find and mark the right spot of your drill hole. This is pretty easy, I'll show you how you do it. Here I marked our top platform level with a screw. You should know this when you plan your tree hole. And from this point on, you measure down until you find the center of the support, which is the center of your screw axis. I'll give you a quick example. Here we have the upper floor, 2.5 cm. Then we have the upper platform beam, which are 12 cm. The main beam is 16 cm. And here the center of the support is exactly 3.3 cm. 
all summed up it should be 35.8 centimeter. Now you mark your top level in the tree. From this you go down those 35.8 centimeters. And that's exactly where you want to drill, the center of your tree house. After you found the right spot of the screw, you need to find the right alignment or the right direction of the screw axis. You can easily do this by taking a cord that simulates the direction of your platform beam. And from this, you take some 90 degree thing, put it on top there. So that's your screw axis. Again, you mark this. a long wood screw. So this is the point where you start drilling the borehole and this is the direction. Mm -hmm. Step 2. Before drilling, please again make sure that all your measurements are right. That you have the right borehole, the right alignment of your screw and don't try to drill in those old branch holes because the wood there, it's really tough and it's difficult to keep direction when drilling. If you end up there, then just look for another place, maybe slightly here or below or above, whatever is possible. It's one thing that is really important when screwing in a trio screw is that you do it quick. You don't want the borehole to stay open for a long time because there are two things. One thing is that some tree species like this like the firs, they tend to resonate after drilling and the more resin you have in there the harder it is to screw in the screw. And second is that there are fungi all around here in the air, on the ground, everywhere and you don't want to have a mushroom party inside your hole, do you? No, usually not. Which leads us to our next step, step three which is the disinfection. Always disinfect tools that are lying on the floor for more than a few minutes to minimize the risk of any infection. And especially when you have a big trios project and more trees, make sure that you don't translate any of the soup from one to the next tree. So in step four, we finally start pre-drilling the hole of our treehouse screw. We begin with the auger bit for the thread of the GTS. Best is to put your screwdriver in a low gear because then you have more power and control. Now the most important thing is to make sure that the whole thing is leveled horizontally. So you need to check it again and again in the first centimeter. We check the right alignment. Those wood chips that come out are a perfect indicator if your tree is healthy or not. If the tree is not healthy, then those chips, they would be discolored and crumbly. But those are wet and really in a good condition. And when you've reached the end of the auger drill, you can start checking the depth of your borehole, which should be 18.5 to 19.5 centimeter with this model of the GTS also. Now it's 15.5 means you need to go in three more centimeters. So that should be our final. Yeah, we have 19 centimeters 
perfectly fine. You can clean the bar hole, for example, with a wood screw. Or you can make pusty pusty, but remember to close your eyes. Okay, that's fine. Step number five is pre-drilling the cylinder hole of the GTS All-Star. Now when drilling with this Forstner bit, make sure that your drilling machine is in the lowest gear. Then you have a lot of power and less speed. You need this handle, otherwise you might twist your wrist. If you're working up in the tree on a ladder, save yourself with some rope or professional climbing equipment. Make sure the guys below you wear helmets or they just go away because often there are things falling down. The whole of the cylinder, the GTS Alster that we are pre-drilling, should be 6.5 cm deep. We insert this pin into the drill hole of the auger bit and start drilling. Now we have 6 cm on the deepest point and just 5 cm on the lowest point. So we continue drilling until we get 6.5 cm on the lowest point. Now we have finished drilling the two boreholes for our GTS All-Star. One important thing is that most of the trees, they aren't really level at the place where you drill your borehole. So on one side of the cylinder it might be 8 cm and on the other side it might be 6 cm deep. We want to drill exactly 6.5 cm deep at the lowest point. See, so here we have the 6.5 5 cm from the rear to the cambium, which is the thin layer between the wood and the bark. 6.5. While on the other side we have around 7.5 to 8 cm. But that's totally fine. Then we finally control depth of this hole again. So we see 18.5 to 19 perfect, 6.5 is perfect. Now we are finished with pre-drilling the hole, we double checked it. Now we can remove the long wood screw. Don't need it anymore. The next is we mark some point of the borehole where it's exactly 7 cm from the rear to the outside of the bark is for example here. Why do we do this? Simply because in our GTS All-Star, you can see here we have a mark and that's exactly seven centimeters. So we're now screwing in the screw. We know exactly at what point we reach the rear end of the borehole. And that's very important because a lot of the load transmission also goes on this surface, so we want to make sure that we are touching it. Now we reach step six of our installation instructions, which is optional, it's the PU glue. Some use it, some don't use it. What is the PU good for? Why do some people use it? Well, in theory you have the cut open vessels here from the tree. PU glue, when it hardens, it swells up and it enters the vessels and closes them. And that's basically the same reaction as the tree itself would have. The tree puts in some resin or oil to close those wounds. So in theory it helps the tree to deal with this wound. And a lot of people asked us, can we leave away the glue? Because it's expensive and it's dirty. And of course you can. I mean, there's no real evidence yet that it increases the wound healing progress. It's just a logical theory in the treehouse builder scene. 
which I think goes very well with the tree biology and the wound healing itself. It's up to, up you. to you. Now we're on the final step, step number seven, screwing in the screw. You can do the first few centimeters by hand. And when the resistance is too high, you switch with the ratchet. Always make sure that you keep it horizontal, don't bend it too much. We are almost finished with screwing in our screw. As you can see here, it's the mark I made for the seven centimeters. And there's only one more centimeter to go till we reach the rear of the borehole. And then I can finally drink my beer. <laughs> Finished. Now you can loosen the M30 nut again with a quick and heavy jerk. And you can put on any support you want. For example, dynamic support for a sliding beam. All right, Treehouse lovers, thanks for watching this long and detailed video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned a lot of things so that everything goes right with your first Treehouse crew. <laughs> Cheerio!